cross-border is an important topic for Ireland because 70% of Irish sales are going to businesses that are based outside of Ireland. Some of that's, a lot of that's in the UK, some of it's in uh, the US and, and some in Europe. Uh, from a business point of view, you can just test or extend your brand. However, it's not as simple as it sounds, so those opportunities don't come without challenges. I think it's a huge opportunity. I think there's, there's a lot of demand out there, uh, particularly we're seeing in the, the fashion space from international consumers. Um, and you know we make it quite difficult for them at the moment. So I think the, the easier that we can make it, and the more and more comfortable that people become shopping cross-border, uh, the, the bigger the market's going to become. The growth rates you see in cross-border are, uh, I would say, five times what you'd see in developed markets such as the UK. So it's a huge opportunity for uh, UK retailers. And uh, I would say also with the affinity that UK brands get from, uh, I would say, worldwide, uh, worldwide shoppers. Either go with a strong partner or really, really make sure you have the, uh, the resources and the teams ready to do it in a smart way. If it's not a priority in your team and your company, again, don't start even. I think the starting point is to understand which markets you're going to focus on. Um, a lot of people try and do everything in one go um, and try and get into markets or, or grow markets that are never going to be big for them because there's a lot of local competition or you don't really have a unique brand. I wouldn't disregard the smaller markets. I think that all those are fragmented and they are uh, 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 currently way underserved. If you uh, try to give them something which is a, a decent uh, uh, experience, you will get a huge uplift in the, in the rest of the world markets and combined those markets can give you a significant, significant uplift in, uh, in, in sales. It's no doubt it's China. Um, that is the, you know, the biggest e-commerce market in the world. It's the most interesting, uh, probably the fastest growing, I think, um, certainly for its size. Uh, but also one of the most challenging. If you take, for example, Russia, it's 50 times as big as Germany. However, the population is not even twice as large. So setting up a proper offline infrastructure is very hard. Online can be a winner there, but the question is, uh, how, how do you go there as a brand? How do you position? With whom do you go? Do you build up online yourself? Do you go with a partner? Interesting countries such as Poland or Israel, they are a relatively small population, but everybody is shopping online and everybody is shopping cross-border. 